Why silver blue is better than fedora? Or any other traditional Linux? I could possibly start telling the theory, about the immutable images, the git inspired updates and system deployments, and yet it would be still hard to make points. Best way to find out, it's by trying it yourselves. Therefore, in this video I will demo how to get it, and how rebase works. And on another video, I will explain the advantages and disadvantages. One thing to remember though, is that Silverblue is still in Fedora, and it derives some of Fedora long-standing issues. Plus, it currently has low community support, which is actually the biggest problem. For this demo, I will install Fedora Atomic, which is like silver blue but without GNOME desktop. That's because the image is smaller, and I only need the terminal anyway. Plus, we can rebase the silver blue from the current Fedora Atomic image. Okay, all done. That is a first small victory, because with Anaconda you can never be sure. Next, I will open SSH server, and I will connect from a terminal, so it will be easier to follow. First, we want to inspect our OS3 deployments. We only have a single image, and that is Fedora 29 Atomic. Then, we want to see what branches are available online. There isn't a Fedora Atomic 30 release yet, but there is a rawhide. And this is what we are going to rebase to. We could rebase to Silver Blue 30, but that will take much more download time. And I plan to upload another video on managing deployments. For now, I will copy that remote link because we will need it later. Then, we will import the GPG keys. And it is not I remember them, there is autocomplete. That's a new feature in latest OS3 release. And finally, we will rebase to the branch I copied before. Update finished very fast with my super internet connection, and those are all our new packages, that are actually mounted on the new deployment. Now, if we check in on the OS tree status, we'll see two deployments. That's the current we are boot at, and it is Fedora 29, and that is a pending deployment, and it is Fedora 30. Pretty crazy and it gets much crazier from now on. But I will do more on another video. Now back to VirtualBox. Those two deployments we have, they are also boot entries on Grub. So if we will restart, we will be able to use, either Fedora 29, or Fedora 30. It is insane already. 
but it gets insaner. Reboot time. And those are our two boot choices, that basically allows us to log in in two different systems. Theoretically, Austri can support many different deployments at the same time. So for example, we could select Silverblue the GNOME version, or Kinoite, which is the KDN official deployment, each one mounted on a different image. And we'll still have our apps with Flatpak, and of course our files and configurations. But in practice, Austri misses the hooks, that will make such setup easy to maintain. Pin deployments are so awesome. Because I had opened an issue for it. And it happened. A pinned image stays forever. You know. Like a quick backup. That second deployment, is now called rollback. And I'm going to remove it. Just because I can. Set them free 